Good day everyone, Sebastian Keems back with you with another Watcher of Realms video. In this presentation, I'm actually going to show you footage of how I beat the first boss uh, on Hard Boy Rift, and in this phase one, we have the Spider Queen. So I'm gonna show you the strategies and the builds. And what I really wanted to show you is that you can do it with gear that you found from stage 18. So I tried to avoid using any gear that I had collected from 19. And just to give you an idea that you can uh, try to clear this game mode and the hard mode uh, without having the 19 gear uh, that gives you that extra advantage. But if you're already farming 19, you should be able to handle this fairly easily uh, without any problems, especially if you have the champs for this. So the strategy that it decided to use, uh, it decided to bring in my two most powerful mages, which in this case for me is going to be Bierna and Morgan. You can try to bring your own two, mage, two mages that do a lot of damage. You know your roster better than I do, but that is the 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 the, the first two that I thought of after I looked at the enemies. I'm also bringing in Silitu, which is a fighter. She has the um, chicken extend. For more than one tile if you cannot do that try to bring in three mages and you you can try to um try to 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 get the the ads down uh just with mages and you should be fine for my two things i'm actually using broker here and oleg because they have those passives that if they get a lethal hit at least they either get a shield or in the case of broker uh they get a form of cc he becomes frozen if you have a baron you can use a baron if it's um if you have him well gear Baron is an excellent candidate for this stage as well. I'm also bringing in three healers. I'm bringing in my two HP based healers in Vortex and my Dan Vortex primarily because of the coverage that he provides us. My Dan because she can actually dispel debuffs and that that queen here throws poisons at us. So we want to get that off out of, if at all possible. And we also am bringing in Elwen. I mean, she's the best healer in the game um, to try to get those ultimates to come back up as soon as, I, uh, as soon as possible. And also to provide us additional healing so we can uh, sustain those um, meteorite uh, drops on us. So I'm actually playing the footage here at two X speed. So that's why I might look a little bit fast to you. But uh, the first thing that I wanted to do is place my tank down. So the uh, Spider Queen focuses on that. And you can see me here trying to decide how I'm going to place my Elowen, uh, how much coverage I'm going to um, to use, or how, how am I going to use her coverage in this setup. So you saw me the two healers in the tanks. They survive the meteorite drops, and then I, now I'm placing my first mage on the right hand under the right hand side uh, of Broker, so she can deal with the adds. Now you saw me uh, drop Oleg on the left hand side, and I'm going to put um, my um, the other mage right along um, to his right to to Oleg's right. Now that I have the, the the Spider Queen concentrated on Oleg, I can give the heals, try to keep everybody alive. So I activated their Vortex X ultimate right when those meteorites were dropping. That's why Morgan, or uh, that's why um, Vierna is still alive. And here I'm just waiting to Try to time my dance. I'm waiting for the poisons. That's what it was. So there's the first set of poisons. And then with the Elowen, I was able to clear the other ones. So at this point, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to keep an eye on my two mages because those are the ones that I primarily want to keep alive because of those, those are my damage dealers. So if I could use the wooden elf to keep either one of them up i was going to or if i was seeing any of my tanks getting into trouble so 
So you can see now we're down to 18 out of 20. And right now the main focus of this is just trying to survive the meteorite uh, drops. Because I know I got a, a handle on the ads. And I know that Morgan and Vienna can, can deal with um, them providing any damage. That's the key here, it's just trying to survive this meteorite drops. So dispel the debuff if at all possible. So that's when I'm using the ultimate there. And now I, I knew she was coming to the left hand side. So that's why I play Silito right behind Oleg. Because she was going to help me deal with the with the uh the boss along with Vierna. Again, the meteor drives are coming about just trying to keep everybody alive and you're just chopping down the boss and that essentially was my clear or phase one in dealing with this um with the void rift and the hard mode all right so at this point of the video i'm just gonna flash the builds for you that i used with the heroes that i that i had and again my emphasis is that i tried just using gear that i had collected from um, gear rate 18 stages and uh tried to show you that uh, if you have the if you have the heroes you have good roles good gear good builds you can clear this content um fairly easily all right I'd like to thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you next time on another Watcher Realms video. Take.